Mm. I love that music. It's nice. I love that music. Great time of year. So amped up for college basketball. Man, I love that. It gets me so pumped. Welcome to ITW, the show that's going to help you enhance instruction through innovation. Aubrey Harrison, David Kasadecki here. We hope you guys had a great spring break. Hope you feel rel relaxed, mm -hmm. refreshed, ready to get going. Um, and we're gonna hope you guys, we're gonna help you get started with this brand new episode. We're here at Cochran Middle School again, Cochran Collegiate Academy. Away from home. That's right, we're getting comfortable here, but they have a great setup. They're, they were gracious enough to let us come and, and do our recording from here. So we, we are very appreciative of, of them for letting us be here. Yeah, right. but, hey, by the way, yeah. nobody was baby. Excuse me. Nobody put baby in the floor. It's been like okay. two months to know the show. I don't right. know if you knew that. Oh, well. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, You're baby. That's, uh -huh. Yeah, that's okay. But let's go on the episode. <laughs> Um, what me and Baby are going to be talking about here today is we're going to be talking about the Bracket Challenge. We completed this. We were able to get this up and running just this year. Had a lot of fun with it. We had about 80 participants, about 80 people who, who registered, uh, got their brackets filled. They went through the whole process for completing the, 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 their brackets. And at the very end, we had um, a, uh, a winner. Mm -hmm. We had a winner for which tool the, the, everyone selected. And we had a winner for the person who got the best bracket. So we're gonna be talking about that today. We wanna to announce our winner, congratulate them. Um, but we wanna talk about some of these tools today because some of the tuning ones were, were pretty interesting. There were, there were some of the ones that, 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 that people um, selected and what they chose to go forward was, was, was a little bit surprising to me, but but, it, it, but one thing it helped me do is to let me know what people are into. It does, this. it does. I let me know what, what people are using and what they wanna know more about. Mm -hmm. So um, that was kind of the purpose for it. Um, but one of the things I wanted to, to start with basically it was to give people a, a, a broad stroke of what how this whole thing yeah. how, how this whole thing worked. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to give people an opportunity to uh, fill out their own bracket. What we did basically what this is is a NCAA style bracket. We had 64 just like NCAA has 64 teams. Um, we replaced those teams with apps and tools and devices. So you guys were the committee. Well, I wasn't the committee. <laughs> Uh, I threw I threw up about seventy to seventy five tools out there. Uh, my lovely teammates that I work with, Miss Lindsay Syke, Rebecca Thompson, uh, Heather Nussbaum, and Heather Ramsey, they were the committee. So they're they're the ones I need to talk to they about. They are the ones. Atomic learning they, still off. They put. Jeez, come on, they guys. Put and come and rank all of them and put them in each region, which is why we had a Thompson region, we had a, oh, a Ramsey sense. region, Nutsbaum, and Sight. They each kind of went, went through and ranked them. So the number one seeds were what they chose as top seeds and so on and so forth. So um, it was a very, very stressful time. It was very fun to watch. So they put those together, and then we, did, we then everybody who registered, they filled out their bracket. They did, they selected. This is what I think is going to win this round. So I think he's going to win this round. Just like round. you would on a, on Just a, like a typical bracket. Uh, the uh, bracket challenge, uh, and they did it all through uh, Google Sheets. Nice, nice. So, so the way we, we decided what tool would advance each round, um, we we selected tech leaders at schools, and we emailed different okay. tech leaders each week. So they chose the winner each week. Yes. So, so our, our tech leaders were the ones they saw the brackets. So, so each week we had like the first round. We had about a set of 20, 25 tech leaders who voted. These are all the tools that are going to move to, to the first Good round. Idea. Then another set voted who was going to move to the next round. So on and so forth until we had a champion. So that was kind of the process of how this whole thing works out. And, and, and it's something that, that uh, it, it does take some work at the very beginning. Uh, but once you get it going, everything is very much smooth. automated. It did. And, and it runs smooth. smooth. So uh, something that, that you can probably do for fun in your class you um, with, with a variety of different things, um, maybe um, related to your content area. But it was just something fun that, that we did um, here for uh, technology. Let's talk about matchups. Okay. I'm excited. I'm ready to dive in. Yeah, because uh, well, I want to talk about some of these tools in here and, and, they are. and kind of compare them and see, you know. I'm going to try not to talk about telephony anymore. As upset as I am, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to hold today. Okay, good, 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 good. So um, let's talk about the best matchups. What we thought, each of us thought, uh, were the best uh, matchups of the entire tournament. Right. Because um, you know, in the basketball tournament, that happens as well. Right. You know, there'll be ideal matchups. This year, I think it was Wichita State and Kansas. Okay. That was a big one. That so, was good. 
So I think um, my Wichita State Kansas was the iPad round two, iPad versus Discovery Education. Right. If I would have done a bracket, I probably would have had iPad at least in the final four. Right. And Discovery Education is a phenomenal tool that a lot of teachers love. Yes, it is. Um, so for that to be a second round matchup is, you know, was amazing. And I think that, um, what was the uh, ending result in that? For Discovery Ed versus iPad? Yeah, I think that was, Discovery Ed barely won. Mm -hmm. Seven six. They won seven to six, so that was a that was a close matchup. Um, I also looked at uh, an elite eight, I guess third round matchup or fourth round matchup between Google Docs and Chromebook. Yes, I, mean, I, that, I, I, was, I was looking forward to seeing how that was going to turn yeah. out. I was I wanted to see how our tech leaders were going to vote. That really could have been a championship match. Exactly, exactly. They just happened to be meeting earlier. Um, you know, probably the, you know you can't have one without the other. Where right. is that from? You can't have one without the other. I don't know what it's no, from. It's some, from some commercial, but anyways. So Google, <laughs> Google Docs against uh, Chromebook. Uh, obviously, Chromebook won. Right. They were in the championship matchup. So um, there, there's so much that you can do with, with, with both. I mean, with, there is. With, with the Google Docs, you have uh, so many work processing applications in there. Plus, you have the research tool. Plus, you have the add-ons that are available um, that, that, that are in there that we, that we, we talked about before. Um, and, and again, just the overall ability to be able to collaborate on, yeah. on a Google Doc. You know, think about how much we collaborate on, on, on Google Docs to that's all we do. create, create our work. That's how we do everything. Right. right. So th 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 there's so much that you can do. But, but then the Chromebooks, the Chromebooks, especially that are going out to our schools and yep. that the access it, that, it, that it gives you to, to, your, to your drive and then to the Chrome browser. And, and th there's so much that, that, that's, yeah. that can be done. It's almost like the Chromebook is broader. I think that's why it won. Right. Because Chromebook encompasses pretty much encompasses Google, Google Docs. Docs. That's true. And that's true. but it also has, you know, the browser aspect of it. So that's I true. think that's probably is if I had to guess right. uh, why it won. But it was a close I mean that was that was a that was a pretty close I mean ten six, but I think that was Chromebook's closest matchup the whole throughout the entire right. the yeah. entire tournament. So obviously that was that was a great one. What about you? What do you think the best uh best well, there's a couple of ones that, that I found very interesting. In the first round we, we've, done, we've done a lot with blended learning mm -hmm. um, and personalized learning yes. and creating um, pathways and playlists. And, and one, of the, one of the tools that a lot of people are using is BlendSpace. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's a great tool. That's a great resource where you can, can pull tools from uh, YouTube. You, you can get things from Google Drive. You can get things from Google. You can pull in websites. Um, and let students interact with them. Students can go at their own. It, 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 it gives you so much, so much flexibility, so many different resources where you can kind of personalize some of the uh, materials the students are going to be learning from. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very popular tool that, 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 that's being used in our schools. Well, in the first round, that was going up against um, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Um, and Instagram, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, My a, great, favorite social media. it's a great social media tool. I, 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 I peruse Instagram every once in a while. Stop. Uh, I'm, I'm not Stop. a huge social media <laughs> fan. Uh, but you know, I, 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 I look at social media, uh, I look at Instagram every once in a while. But, um, there's applications for it, you know, you, there, there's certainly arguments to be made about it being used in the classroom. But I was shocked that in the first round, that that matchup between yeah. Instagram and BlendSpace, that according to our tech leaders, Instagram was the... Was, was the what the, if they were looking at it more personally rather than... I want, to, I want to know, what are you guys using it for? If that's true, what, are, they, what are you using Instagram for in the classroom? Make sure they comment, you know, comment, yeah, uh, let us know what you're doing with it, because we've never done... I don't never see any PD on Instagram with class. Well, we've had this. I've, I've heard discussions about it being being used for, for uh, some sort of class projects and, and, and things like that, and, and it's kind of sort of a good way for students to be able to see or follow some of the things that, that, that they're doing in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, but as much as as much as blend space, yeah. uh, I, I just I just was very surprised by that. And remember, this, these are our tech leaders. These are our people who are in our school. For working with these, so you know, if, if this is what they're saying, you know, we need to pay attention to listen, yeah. and maybe we need to think about um, some of these other tools more. But also, just I also want to speak briefly on this one. There's another one in the later rounds: projectors versus uh, Google Forms. Oh, yeah. um, especially with, with this with this 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 thought process of maybe moving more towards one one to one device stuff, you know, the need projectors um, would decrease, but projectors kept moving up and moving up, and then it went yeah. up and it had finally it went up against. Google Forms, and I was like, wow, projectors are really more popular than, than I thought. And, I mean, I, I realized- well, every that, classroom has one, right? Right, but, yeah. and, and there's value in it. And it I, I'm, I'm not saying that, that we don't, that you don't have to have projectors, you don't need a projector. That there is certainly value in, yes. in projectors, but uh, it, 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 projectors just to me, it's one of those Cinderella stories that you kind of just kept right, right. And, and it went forward, um, and it went a lot 
further than I went, and I found like they got a Google Forms, because I think Google Forms um, was able to. Uh, it was close, it. nine seven. It was right. close. So um, that was another another interesting. But one. Then you know what that shows us too is that shows us that you know teachers have these projectors in the classroom. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that that the projectors are working. You know, consistently, we need to make sure that the teachers can can fix minor issues. Yeah. You know, absolutely on, on their own. So that that definitely helps us. That's what this tournament was a lot about. We mm -hmm. wanted you guys to have fun with it, but we also it allowed us to gather information. Yes, absolutely. So, allowed us to gather our data so we can differentiate for our for our audience. Yep. Yeah. Much to me. So guys, let's take a, just a quick second to talk about three sweeps that happened that really kind of shocked me because they were sweeps. Number one was Google Docs and Tundu. I'm not really surprised by that one. I'm not, I'm not sure a lot of people are familiar with yeah. the Tundu and um, what it can do, but I mean... It is a good tool though, but Google Docs is Google Docs. Yes. So we'll chalk that one. Um, another one, Interactive Whiteboards and Prezi. I was a little surprised about that one. Uh, uh, interactive Whiteboards can do a lot. It, it does. gives that, that, that interaction with, between um, the lecture and your students. You can mm -hmm. use that station as a part of your classroom. Prezi um, is a great presentation tool. Prezi, Prezi is a great presentation tool, and it's one that I know people are using um, and I'm surprised that we didn't get at least one vote for it, but yeah. I think, I think that the access, access, to, a, I think right, access right. to it might, might have been uh, an issue. So the, other, the last um, the last sweep, and this was a blowout, wasn't even close, was Brain Pop and Evernote. Not shocking, Brain Pop won. I am actually, but <laughs> not, not shocking it won, right. but that it was a 13 to nothing? Yeah, Evernote and does so much. It, it does, does unbelievable. Easy. But hey, that tells us. Ease of people, access on the phone. Yeah. People love Brain Pop. They love it. You love Brain Pop. Okay, so we hear you guys. Those were our sweeps. So that kind of leads us into our upsets and what you and I both feel were maybe the biggest upsets. Um, my two were the 16 1. You know, we have this men's basketball championship. Yes. No 16 deserve being a 1. ITW Record Challenge. We had two. Twice. Double twice. Up. So um, those were my two big upsets, and those were Google Hangout beating Kahoot. Kahoot. Uh, People love that Kahoot. That, that's, that is a great. Competitive game, game place where you can, it's easy to set up. You can share, you can share with other teachers. You create one. Uh, students can see their names up on the board. You, you can do it from students can do it from from a Chromebook, yep. or if you let them bring on their personal device. They can do it. That's that, 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 there's so many great things about it. Uh, I was surprised that this number one seed um, was taken out by by Google by Hangout. Probably should have been a 16, but that's okay. It is what it is. So oh. the other one was clickers. Yeah, click, click, clickers and school net. That was my other one. Yes, great. Sixteen one again. Those were my two. Right, and and, and, and clickers is that was our most popular um, after, after the week. Heather Ramsey did that, and yes. she did an excellent job with it. Um, but I was surprised with that. Um, you know what hurt my heart was Edmodo, not even getting past the first round. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, V Box is great. It extends it does, that learning it outside you know, uh, outside of school. I've heard so many great things about uh, on their own. Um, at, with the green box, but we just did a great show on it. Princess laid it out perfectly. Um, but hey, it, it's it's I respect people's opinions, um, even if they're wrong. So <laughs> let's look at our final four. Yeah, let's, let's, let's spend some time on that. those. Are the four tools, devices that people like the best in CMS: Google Forms, right. Google Forms, Google Slides, Chromebooks. Three Google-related devices. Yes. We hear you guys. You like your Google. <laughs> we know that. Um, I think Jake might have something to do with that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe he voted. Maybe he like. He might. He might have thought when they just stuck in there. He does. Okay. So, and then obviously the final one was interactive whiteboards. Right. And then we and it the, the ended up being forms against interactive whiteboards and interactive the whiteboards. Oh no! In the, in the yeah. And then the, in the, the final yeah. four, uh, or four forms, forms and interactive, interactive whiteboards and interactive whiteboards. Uh, won that, that stuck that by, but yeah. Uh, and, and I think that I think that's because of a great point that my teammate Rebecca Thompson made. Um, and which is that forms is yeah. it, it seems very easy to make, but there's three components to it. There's the editing part, you're right. The, you're right. The, the, the live form and the spreadsheet. Now, if you're comfortable with that, there's a lot you can do with it. But when you first get started with forms, you, you know it, it can be confusing to know. Well, you know, I'm creating a form, and, and now I got to go to another place for my live form, and then another place where all my data right. goes to. Right. It can be a little confusing. So after white forms went to the final championship round and it's a point that the person that the tool it went up against was Chrome's Chromebooks um kind of went ran just ran through it did I mean Google Chrome Slides. Mean, you can't argue uh, which is saying Google Slides is, is, is a great it's a great option because there's, there's a lot of great things that you can do with that presentation tool. But you know if it's gonna be Google Docs it's gotta be I mean now yeah. when it made that matchup I knew it was gonna win because they're already yes. beating Google Docs. Yes. So 
That's true. That's true. So, and you're getting Google Slides into and, and Chromebooks yeah, yeah, anyway. So now you got Chromebook and interactive whiteboards. And it wasn't even close. No, not yet. Blowout. Even close. 23 was, to 7. Uh, our tech leaders made it very clear Chromebooks was a tool of choice um, for them in this school district. Uh, and it's, uh, and, and, and hey, what, what can we say? We've talked about Chromebooks on the show yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, some of the great things that you can do about it, the, the short keystrokes, the ease of use. Our teachers love them too. They yes. do. And the kids seem to be, when we go to the schools, our kids seem to be really enjoying them, yes. using them you know, in the classroom. Uh, you know, in the commons area, right. they're all over the place. Great price they point. They are uh, great ease of access. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot. There's a lot of great things that you can say about, about Chromebooks. Uh, so, um, Chromebooks ended up being our winner. It did. Now that was our winner. That was the tool that won. Uh, we also want to announce the individuals who top three. The top, top three. three. So let's talk about our top. So three the third winners. bronze medal winner is the bronze winner was Alyssa Hessian. I hope I'm saying your name right, Alyssa. I really apologize if I'm not. Um, she is from J.M. Robinson. She is our third place what winner. She, she, really she wins the t-shirt. The <laughs> t-shirt. The sealed-in t-shirt. Alyssa, so you're going to be getting one of these. I'm going to be contacting you guys to get this out to you. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. Our second place winner is Margaret Graham from Myers Park, Myers Park Traditional. Traditional Elementary School. She is going to get a document camera. And the t-shirt. And the t-shirt. And the t-shirt. And the t-shirt. Congratulations, Margaret. She's probably more excited about the t-shirt than I'm that. sure they all are. I know I would be. <laughs> uh, and our grand prize winner, the person who is <laughs> wanting to get the 26 hope it's me. Hope it's me. trip to NC Ties. Oh, wait, NC Ties was awesome this year. It was. I know. Um, so I get a free trip next year? NC Ties is going to be done. <laughs> NC Ties winner is going to go to, uh, this winner, this is going to go to NC Ties. And the winner is Sarah Wicker. Okay. Sarah Wicker is from Sedgefield Middle Science School, teacher. a science teacher. She was, she is the grand prize winner. She picked up the prize box. She's going to get the whole Wait, she, get, she gets the t-shirt too? And the t-shirt. And the t-shirt. We know you want the t-shirt. She probably didn't even care about the trip. She might give me the trip. That's okay. No, she went out about that. <laughs> but um, Sarah, congratulations. And we thank everybody for participating. Thank um, but we also want to hear your recommendations, your thoughts, your suggestions. Anyone who participated, or even if you want to participate and you, you just didn't get a chance to, um, we want to hear your thoughts about the process, about what you thought about the tools that, that were selected, or maybe you want to be more involved in the, in, in the selection process. We want to hear your Maybe you want to take place with the committee. Maybe. Maybe. We're, we're open to, yes. to your suggestions. So let us know what you think about this and how we can make this better. Uh, for, for next year. Yeah. Guys, that kind of leads us in. Anything you want to see, make sure you comment below. Share your ideas with about not only the Tech Tournament Challenge, but also the show. Some some ideas for shows. Um, you know, what are some tools that we left off? Maybe some of your upsets, your great matchups, any of that stuff. Make sure you comment below and, and share that with people. That's how we kind of engage with one another. That's how you build your, exactly. uh, your PLN. So make sure you guys uh, comment below. You can also share that information on Twitter. Uh, our handle is CMS to the Corp. Um, we also want to hear back through uh, email. No. Our email address is cln at cms.k12.nc.us. Real quick, you want to give us a little plug? Quick plug. Periscope. Periscope. Check out Periscope, guys. I love it. We love it. <laughs> we just did our first, we actually did a recording of our intro to this show. So you guys can check out Periscope. Uh, you just link your Twitter account to Periscope and um, you can watch kind of behind the scenes. Everyone wants to see behind the scenes footage. Behind the scenes. So behind the scenes footage of, of ITW and CLN, you right. know, all in general. We'll try to post those at least once a week, right. at least you know, when we're recording the video. So make sure you guys check that out. But guys, thanks again for tuning into this, this episode. We know it was a little long, but make sure you guys check us out next week for another edition of ITW.